I have always loved to play games and it's one of my favorite hobbies. But of course, it turns into a problem when it gets obsessive and I think that's what is happening in my case. And of course, my parents were getting a bit worried. As for me, I only have my dad beside me so he was getting very worried. Because I stopped taking care of myself and always stuck with my phone. But my dad was a bit too worried, I would say. He would always come to my room and blab about how to maintain internet security and all that BS. I would always say, I know dad, I didn't give any stranger any of my credit card number or our home address, don't worry. But he just doesn't get it and keeps reminding me of it every single day. But one day, it was like any other day, he came into my room and said, can we talk for a second? Oh, dad, I get it. I have to maintain internet security and all that jazz. I get it. No, I'm just here to talk to you for a little bit. Can you please leave your phone and look at me for a few seconds? Ugh. Oh, okay, dad, what's up? I told you I understand your concern about the internet security and I get it. No, sweetheart, I'm just here to tell you about a story, that's it. Seriously? Okay, go ahead, Dad. I'm listening. Once upon a time, there was a boy, and he was addicted to various games, just like you. And his parents were also getting concerned for his health and his gaming addiction. Ah, really? So one day he was playing games like any other, but one of his best gaming buddies' birthday was that day, so he sent him 60 fictional diamonds on the game. The boy was very happy, so he messaged him and thanked him for the gifts. No problem. Then he also said it must have been very expensive. So can you please send me a home address so that I can send you a return gift? The stranger said on the messages. Um, no, my parents will be mad. No, please, I insist, don't tell them, it's just gonna worry them for nothing. I'll send you an amazing return gift. Um, then alright, I guess. That night, the boy was feeling kind of uneasy. So after a long thought, he decided that he was gonna tell his parents about what happened. Just as he was thinking that, he saw a shadow. Someone walking on the hallway. Dad? Is that you? Can you come here for a second? I want to talk. His father pokes his head inside a little to talk. What do you want to talk about, son? Then a deep voice says, what do you want to tell us about that you gave out your address to a stranger online? So he came into our house? Oh yeah, I mean, I came into your house and murdered your parents. <laughs> then he comes out of the shadows with both of his parents, murdered and slaughtered in his hands. Well, I have killed your parents, now it's your turn, come on, let's play! As he lifts his knife to kill him, he hears a soft cry of a baby upstairs. He gets excited. Oh my god, I've never killed a baby before. Let's finish up quick. So I can go and kill the baby. So he kills him and runs upstairs. He finds the baby crying, lifts his knife to kill him, but he couldn't. I can't kill this baby. The baby is... <sighs> so he steals the baby and then raises the baby as his own daughter and named her Leslie. Wow, now that was a scary story, Dad. Yeah, I guess. But it's for educational- But wait, Dad! My name is Leslie! Oh, yes it is, dear. <laughs>